Hey guys, it's Harv. So a couple of days ago, I saw a rumor on Sony Alpha Rumors saying that Sony had registered a new camera, which is likely to end up being either the A9S or the A9 III. I like talking cameras, so I thought it'd be fun just to go through what those rumors are and see what we think about them. Before we do, just a couple of updates. I have pre-ordered a Revo ring, so I will be doing a video on that, reviewing it from someone who wasn't sent it for free. And I've also got a Sigma 35mm f1.4 art coming, and I'll do a comparison video to my Canon 35mm f2 lens IS, which I love that lens so much, I think now is the time to swap. Um, so yeah, that's coming up on the channel. Please, if you could do me a favor, Hit, that, hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button if you could, that means the world to me. So the rumors are that this new camera will be called either the A9 III or the A9S. The, the latter of the two is interesting because that tells me that Sony want to introduce a kind of a 1DX style camera, high end for filmmakers. The rumored sensor is said to be 50 megapixels and the headline news is that this new camera will shoot in 8K up to 30p. Now those two things, the 50 megapixel sensor and the 8K, sound remarkably familiar to me. R5? I'm sure what's happened here is Canon surprised everyone. We know this, they surprised everyone when the marketing came out for the R5. All of a sudden it was, this camera will shoot 8K. And regardless of the results, the overheating, I don't, I don't care about all that kind of stuff. The point is, if I was the boss, the CEO of Sony's camera department, I would, I would feel a little bit like I was caught with my pants down. So to me, this would be Sony's answer to Canon's R5. And the headline will be, yes, shoots 8K. No, it doesn't overheat, because it kind of has to be like that. Also, it's rumored to take the higher end features from the A7S III, which I'm shooting on right now, such as the EVF and the autofocus system. It is expected to be at least $1,500 more than the Canon R5, which I'm not surprised by that because this is Sony's top line of mirrorless camera, the A9 series. Really, it's the equivalent of Canon's 1D series, so I would expect it to be released at, I don't know, around five, six thousand dollars RRP, something like that. What I want to know and what I think we should discuss in the comment section below is firstly, how, how will it not overheat? Moving all that data is hard work and particularly with the different codecs available, some of them are very processor hungry depending on the compression levels that happen. I think it's safe to assume that this camera probably wouldn't have any kind of fan system or cooling because the A9 series, they're meant to be sort of, you know, uh, high performance sports cameras, often sort of weather sealed and that kind of thing. So I don't know, what do you think? Also, I want to know about any kind of cropping. Sony have recently been very good with this kind of thing of not having these crop modes. So I'm sure they will make it a priority because we, you know, we, people who shoot videography, we care about that kind of thing. That 8K is rumored to be maxed out at 30 frames per second, but I want to know, firstly, what other frame rates are gonna be available? What do you think? And plus, what other codecs are gonna be available? Are they gonna offer H.265? I assume they would. So that's all we know at the moment, but part of me is still a little bit annoyed at Canon. I know these advances in technology are really good. That's a really good thing that they're pushing, you know, the, the boundaries further and further. But in a way, I feel like we've skipped 6K. I was looking forward to getting 6K at some point, even though 4K is fine for me at the moment. But why is it? Why do we have to skip straight to 8K? So it was about a year ago that Sony came out with the FX9 cinema camera, and that is a 6K camera. And that's why I think that Sony thought that 6K would be it for a while, you know? So that, I suppose, is my main question is, have we skipped 6K? And I don't know about you, but I, I mind about that. Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, that's it. This video is not to be taken too seriously. After all, it's based completely on a rumor. The only thing that was confirmed by the article was that Sony have registered a new camera. Anyway, that's it for now. Please get subscribed and I'll catch up with you soon. See you guys.